no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Uh, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I could clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ha ha! You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the Transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. The freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky. I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cabin. Here, boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. I'm the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Time to burn. Ready? Oh, yeah. More up here. Coming. <laughs> oh, shit, Ricky. Got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light him up, I knock him down. It's been a while, but I remember. Time to burn. Here I come! Ready. Time to burn. Okay. 
You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh... He never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. You remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself, like you always did. And you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp! Iron Mike has Bring a treaty! Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Stay put and hey, keep your head down. Hey, I can take care of it. Stop! Yeah? How long have you been a camper? But you assholes are kinda of far from home, aren't you? Why don't you drag your ass back to Iron Butte and find the shithole you crawled out from? 
We're from Lost Lake. We have a trick. Get too far away from Carlos, do you? you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? I think that's the last of them. Jesus. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. 
Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. You got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were You wanna hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way. And they were in flatbed trucks, decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... By the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. 
So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addie, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? Society had a small office and a dog pen outside of sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs, strays mostly. Yeah, that's office. a day I'm Should never getting mentioned. back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, looks too bad, huh? Schizo. Schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, good choice. <laughs> yep. Now that's an upgrade. Good one. Okay. Yeah, good. Uh, good choice. Yep. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Yo, Deke. How's it going, man? Joe. <sighs> Just one? No, ah, okay. See you later, man.
You here to buy something? Hey, Buzz. Bike's looking pretty busted. All right, I got you. Looking for anything in particular? What else can I get you? Okay. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Good to see you, Deke. How's it going, Buzz? I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. <sighs> I was ready to go back at it. Joni, you will never know how much Boozer misses you. I used to be a cop, believe it or not, and farewell. I think we had it pretty good with training and equipment and all. It got bad fast. It wasn't just a good one.
Hey. Sorry. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on Marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I mean, he's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Ad. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike and put it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. Are you there? Yeah. How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Can't figure out what the hell they're up to yet. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Hell, Schizo to eat shit. Yeah. That long. Later.
lose everything. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I was gonna go. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah. I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to go on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shut off. Your, uh, com was still open before. I heard something. Don't think of it as, like, being a big Tom. It's more like opposition research. <laughs> I'll it out. Now, what you call it? Jesus, you don't think they're aware of it. No, 
What it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. You hear that? O'Brien, well, are you there? O'Brien! Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch her name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out. useful.
Dave, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, the, you know them? No, but uh, I seen them around. What's 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 going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. This thing. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. The hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, Buzz. I'll fill her up. Mike's looking pretty busted. I'm here if you need me, man. Ah, Deacon St. John. Joseph, world's best bounty collector. Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, how you doing? Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. Okay, then. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Hey, Deacon. So, a uh, couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Road. Hey, hold on. Yeah, I you know. thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. You know what we found? Drifters call them newts. <sighs> Crawling all over the place like a bunch of crazy damn monkeys almost got us killed. But you're stone cold. Bet you just shrugged it off. 